Now, please welcome the Chief Operating Officer of the TEA, Jenny Nevin. So lovely to have escorts. I am honored to be here this evening to see such, an, to see such amazing projects from all over the world. Our members are the heart of TEA. They are the talented and innovative people who make these amazing experiences possible. It's so thrilling to be a part of an organization that always strives for excellence. The TEA continues to grow, serving thousands of members worldwide. Tonight's event is sold out and is the largest in TEA history with attendees and recipients from all corners of the globe. <laughs> This gala would not happen without the huge effort and commitment of hundreds of volunteers, crew, production partners, and staff, contributing thousands of hours to make this evening a success. This event would also not be possible without the commitment and support of our presenting sponsor, Chime Along, and global partners, Walt Disney Imagineering, Universal Creative, Christie, and the Hedema Group. I thank them. Oh, I thank them. And I also thank each and every one of you for your presence here this evening, joining with us in our celebration of excellence and the best and brightest in our industry. Now, to continue our award presentations, please welcome our TEA secretary and president of the Attraction Services Company, Melissa Townsend and David Ion, senior show producer at Rethink Leisure Entertainment. A detailed recreation of the trials and terror of World War I hardly seems like the subject for a themed attraction, but in the best, in the best traditions of this industry's unique type of design, Louis de Fou's new Les Amoureux de Verdun attraction uses the mood and tenor of war to tell a much more intimate human story of love, sorrow, and hope. This one-of-a-kind attraction fully immerses guests in chilling trenches and foxholes of the Verdun region of France in a state of all-encompassing war. In spectacularly detailed sets populated by Nearly a hundred characters presented in seamless media projection, realistic figures, and 15 live actors, the attraction illustrates the emotional pains of war, triumphs of courage, and a miraculous Christmas truce between the French and German soldiers. Nous avons voulu faire revivre l'expérience de la tranchée par nos visiteurs spectateurs qui marchent et qui écoutent un échange de lettres entre un soldat et sa fiancée. Les Amoureux de Verdun, donc c'est trois ans de, de travail iconographique, de recherche, de scénario. Nous avons donc bâti euh, ce volume de 2000 mètres carrés dans la forêt centenaire du, du, du Grand Parc. Environ 4 millions d'euros d'investissement. 22 entreprises, 240 personnes qui travaillent sur ce projet pour accueillir environ 1000 visiteurs par heure durant cette saison 2015. Ce n'est pas un décor de cinéma, c'est un, de... un décor réel. On s'est refusé à faire des fakes ou des, ou des faux. C'est important parce que c'est ça qui a fait toute la difficulté du projet en vérité. Donc pour permettre aux visiteurs d'être au plus proche de la réalité dans la tranchée, on a intégré des milliers de bruitages, 150 sources sonores qui sont réparties dans les 180 mètres de tranchée. Et c'est ce qui permet de, de vraiment de créer aussi une mise en ambiance sonore du, pour le visiteur. Les Amoureux de Verdun ne sont finalement pas vraiment un spectacle, c'est plutôt un hommage vivant que nous rendons à tous les poilus qui ont donné leur vie pour la France. Et c'est cette année l'occasion pour nous de faire entrer le XXe siècle au Puy du Fou.
for its moving and emotional storytelling accomplished with state-of-the-art technology, stagecraft, and innovative design, the Thea Award of Achievement is presented to Le Amore du Verdon. Accepting the award for Les Amoureux du Verdon is Association du Puy de Fou's founder, Philippe de Villiers, and principal designer, Thierry Retif. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg your pardon, but I am French. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. <laughs> but I, I, a problem of language. My French is so bad that I prefer to speak to you in English. <laughs> With my team, we are very happy to be here. We wanted, with this project named the Les Amoureux de Verdun, we wanted to pay tribute to all the soldiers of the First World War who gave their lives for liberty in the trenches. We are extremely happy to receive this award, but this award is not for us. This is for them the soldiers. And and this is not our victory. This is their victory, their memory. Thank you very much. I introduce Thierry Retif, who is our designer. Très, très grand décorateur. The best of France. I just want to say thank you. Thank you all for doing us uh, the great honor of this award. Thank you, Philip, for trusting me. <laughs> and I'm happy and proud to be there with you tonight. So uh, have a wonderful evening, and thank you again. I suggest you swim. Welcome to the Puy du Fou. <laughs> 